So um, the evaluation model is called LTEM, which stands for the Learning Transfer Evaluation Model. And, you know, the reason I developed it, and I got a lot of help, I got a lot of input from, uh, you know, a lot of really smart people. Um, but the reason I began to develop it was that, you know, we've heard complaints about the Kirkpatrick model for years. And the scientists who've looked at it said, it doesn't do what it says it does. It's not aligned with the research on learning. It's just problematic from many, many different points of view. And so um, I just decided, okay, well maybe, you know, we want our models to push us, to nudge us in the right direction. And the Kirkpatrick does some of that well. It nudges us to think about not just learning, but also performance, et cetera. That's good. Um, but it has some problems. It doesn't nudge us away from bad uh, learning evaluations like measuring, you know, completion rates or participation. Um, uh, it doesn't, it, it has a problem with measuring learning. It puts all learning in one bucket. And the bucket is not really, um, specific enough to give us good guidance on what to evaluate or really what to design as well. So when you think about learning, well, learning could be measured by measuring uh, trivial information, right? Regurgitation of useless facts. Uh, you could measure learning by you know, recall of unimportant facts or meaningful facts. Um, but you know, we know knowledge by itself isn't enough. Knowledge, uh, learning could be measured by uh, giving people a really good decision scenarios and see if they can make realistic decisions. It can be measured by real world tasks kind of thing. But what happens with the uh, undifferentiated nature of level two in the Kirkpatrick at cell model, we tend to default to the lowest common denominator. Oh, we need, we need a level two, let's do a knowledge check. And that really doesn't encourage us. So I wanted to create a new model and Oh my gosh, you know, for, you know, I started, I started like a 12 level model and then a 15, 14 level model, 15 level model. And then I asked for feedback and people said too much, too much. <laughs> so I narrowed it down to eight tiers and I call them tiers um, to distinguish it from the Kirkpatrick cell model. Uh, if you're new in the field, you probably ought to study the Kirkpatrick model. Uh, it will, it will not be called the Kirkpatrick cell model probably where you see it, but um, you need to know that because that's everybody's frame of reference. Um, and then you should probably read some critiques about it. Uh, and then read the LTEM. There's a 34 page report, it's free. Uh, it really goes into some depth about the strengths and weaknesses of the Kirkpatrick and Cell model and uh, really lays out a very clear rationale for why, we, you know, what we need in a, a learning evaluation model. You know, one of the things I put the LTEM model out there and now people have been, you know, using it uh, in different ways, things I haven't even anticipated. Not only to think about, okay, where are we now in our learning evaluation journey? Where, what can we get better at? But also learning designs, um, certifications. Um, you can certify a course or certify learners based on the LTEM model. You know, um, I have an online workshop on my performance focused smile sheets. And I certify that at the LTEM uh, tier five level. Basically that means that people who uh, complete the course, complete the online workshop successfully, they have uh, gone through two rigorous uh, tier five evaluation. In other words, they've been given decision-making scenarios that are challenging and they've been successful in answering those questions correctly. So um, then you can think about, you know, cause a training course is not a training course, is not a training course. Some are better designed than others. We can use LTEM to certify the training course and to certify those who have gone through it. Somebody who's gone through a more rigorous course deserves more credit. Um, we deserve to look at them as if they pass something more rigorous than if somebody who gone through a very simple course that didn't challenge them.